Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the pixel sorting effect in Adobe After Effects. I was actually introduced to this effect by Cole Bennett in his music videos. It's actually not a very popular effect even though it looks really cool. I think the main reason for this is because there's no manual way to do it or I don't think anyone knows how to do it manually. If you search up on YouTube how to do this, everybody uses the same preset. So I guess we're going to be using this preset and I'll be showing you how to use it, how to install it and different ways you can use it in your videos. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is download the presets. There's a Mac version and a Windows version. Make sure you download the right one. And now what you want to do is go to your file explorer and you want to find the plugins uh, folder for Adobe After Effects. So go to this PC. It's probably in one of the program files. It depends on your computer, obviously. I'm going to try this one. Go to Adobe. It's not this one. And then go to Adobe, After Effects, Support Files. And once you're in Support Files, you want to find a folder called Plugins. And then you just want to drag it right here. So here I have the Adobe after effects pixel sorter once you're done that it should be installed the next time you start adobe after effects and now if you go on to your adobe after effects here and you search up pixel sorter in the effects and presets here you'll see it so as you can see under pixel sorting it's right here and once you drag it onto one of the clips here it'll ask to register you want to press register and type in anything just a bunch of you know random keys and press activate and it'll work and then you want to restart the program again so now here for the mode basically you can just choose any of these so if you want all pixels the effect will be applied to all pixels which doesn't look that good ideally you would want to press on highlights or shadows so highlights is being you know the white areas the brighter areas of the video and the shadows are the darker areas so you can see that the seat and that sort of stuff and here highlights is like the sky so you can see what that does the threshold is basically the strength of the effect and the orientation basically determines if you want the effect to go from left to right or right to left or up and down so you can see row it goes sideways and then column goes upwards obviously i think row looks better in this case and so if you just press play right here, you'll see what that does. And what you could do to make it a bit more natural is you can increase the strength of the effect using keyframes. So you want to start at zero threshold and then go up to 207 or whatever you want. So to do this, you just want to press on the clip right here, press on the drop down menu and press on the effects right here, go to threshold, set a keyframe for whatever threshold you want, move it to the end, go to the beginning and make it zero. So zero strength. And basically here, it'll start from zero and then it'll fade into the effect. So you can see what that does here. That way the effect doesn't seem so sudden and unnatural. So you can see here, it looks pretty cool. Another thing you can do is you can create an adjustment layer and you can use this as a transition. So if I right click, press new adjustment layer, move this to the top and go right between where the two clips start and end. I can press on pixel sorter and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And we're going to do the same thing and then create keyframes here. So we're going to go to effects, AE pixel sorter, and basically increase the threshold right in the middle, set a keyframe, go maybe like a couple frames left, set it as zero, then a couple frames right and set it as zero. So what this will do is right before the clips transition or the clips change, the effect will be applied. So you can see right there. And yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.